there are times when people go through tough things and they might be victims of circumstance and they might need a helping hand. But what now tends to happen is that those victims, some real, some not real, are weaponized and kept in victimhood because it's a source of power. I think that's incredibly brutal and destructive. To so say you care about the victim, but actually you don't. You care about using them as a weapon to attack the society that you don't like around to say that that society's done it. You really, you've been very strong in rejecting that approach. Well, whatever, whatever, way, whatever the currency is, because we naturally are driven by recognition. Everybody, 99.9%, .9 we're all driven by recognition, right? We care about followers on YouTube, viewership, likes, who wrote us a letter at our wedding, who brought a gift, who wrote a card. You know, I'm proud of you, I love you, uh, I like our friendship, I value our friendship. You did a great job, you're a New York Times bestseller, you're a Wall Street Journal bestseller, you're an Amazon bestseller. You know, you produce the best car, you became the employee of the month, you became the salesperson of the month. Everything we do in our lives is recognition. That's a nice tie. I like your watch, what wow, beautiful you. shoes. <laughs> we like recognition. This is a very much of a, rec what cologne do you have on? Why? So we're driven by recognition naturally, all of us, right? But if all of a sudden the recognition becomes about, hey, poor you. Oh my gosh, life must be very hard, man. I feel so bad. How could they do that to you? They did that to you. You didn't do it. It's their fault. It's your mom's fault. It's your dad's fault. It's the government's fault. It's the company's fault. It's your ex's fault. It's everybody's fault. You didn't do any of this stuff. And then you buy in. You're like, yeah, you're right. It was my mom's fault. It was my dad's fault. It was a politician's fault. It was a government's fault. You're right. I didn't do any of this stuff. It's everybody's fault. What the hell are we talking about? But it's so powerful. It's manipulative, but it's powerful. And it's gotten people to get eyeballs, to recognize, to sell how hard their lives are. Like for example, nowadays it's cool to post on social media when you're sick or you have COVID. I'm documenting me going through COVID. Why are you documenting it? You're going through COVID, you have COVID. Every time you have problems, you want to advertise it to the world? Why? Because it gets eyeballs. So we have brainwashed people to recognize them to get eyeballs if they show how weak they are. It's become a cool thing. We don't recognize anymore showing how somebody stands up during tough times, how somebody stood strong, how somebody chose to make the tougher decisions, not the popular decisions, how we want to put a, the onus back on the individual to step up and do something. Yes, we may need unemployment for three months for people to go through it. Do we need it for 12 months? No. Yes, we need some people as they're going through tough times. Maybe welfare does make sense at times when a single mother whose father, husband died and they didn't have an insurance policy and she doesn't work, she's raising three kids, we need to do something to help that person out. But then we need to say, this other mother that also went through, she took government assistance for four months, then she went and got a job. She started a part-time business and her son saw her do the same thing and they're not running a business themselves. I believe you can do it too. I think you gotta get a job while your kids are at school from eight to three. I think you can start a part-time business right now when your kids go to sleep. I think you can get your kids involved. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're just saying how hard everything is and how you can't solve it. I don't like that. I don't think I want somebody to impose their lack of confidence and discipline to get things done on me. Don't impose your fears on me. Don't impose your insecurities on me or my kids. No, tell me I could do it, even if it's hard. Help me out at times if I need some help, but don't just constantly help me where I have to lean on you for the rest of my life. I don't think that's leadership. I think that's leanership, and I think we need more leadership today than leanership. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Now, we don't have a lot of it today.